Hello, welcome to this tutorial in Zara Pro X9. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this black circle into this uh, 3D-ish looking logo. So first I'm going to delete this and draw yourself a circle. I have one already drawn here. And next I'm going to make a copy by holding shift and pulling with the right mouse button. Change that to no fill and a stroke. Change the stroke to about 12 points and then go up here to the arrange menu and convert the line to shape so now I can actually put a fill in there by grabbing the bucket tool and drawing fill on it now the next thing I want to do is size it down so that it touches the black shape and make a copy of the black shape hold the control key down and drag copy out over here and leave the black shape there and clone another one on top of it. Control K and then go to the fill tool and change it to four color and just size that down a little bit by holding the shift key. And next I want to put a Gaussian blur effect on so click on the effects button go to new soften filter Gaussian blur and move this up to about halfway or so. Now that that's made I need to bring this ring to the front. Now sometimes you can't click on the ring now that it has a live effect on there. So what you can do is go into um, line mode here and click on the ring and press Control F to bring it to the front and then when you bring it, the view quality back up see that it's in the front there so now all I need to do is make the reflection so I'm going to grab this circle here make a copy of it put it right over it hold shift and drag this in a little bit and then deform this circle here so it's about right like this and next fill it with white and go to the transparency tool and just drag this down hold the control key to make it into a straight line make it fade at the end and I'm also going to make it a little bit more transparent at the top so there's going to be another one of these on top so clone another one control K and then move this into place about right here and then adjust the transparency a little bit so it's a little bit more opaque at the end and you can also change the blending mode here try luminosity to see how that looks so that is how that you can turn a black shape like this into something that looks like this and I hope this helps you out and uh, like the tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.